I'm Barry Johns, and this is Studio Talk. Well, recently, I did a review of these, Slate Audio's VSX headphones. Uh, to give you a little bit of brief background, I use these in my, my studio for over three months now. Um, I've used them on and off, going between my monitors as well as the headphones, and then actually going out and putting it to the test and testing it in various spaces to see how well they translated it. If you haven't seen that particular video, I encourage you to go, go watch that video. I'll put a link down in the description below. Now, a quick disclaimer. These headphones, who are they for? Well, are they for everybody? It depends. It really does. But if you don't have proper room treatment, uh, you don't have a good quality set of speakers uh, to be able to mix with properly, uh, these things do a fantastic job. I'll, I'll cut to the chase in the review uh, that I did before. I think these things are worth every penny that you pay for them. That uh, Every mix I did translated almost perfectly in every situation, and I found the majority use. The only downside of doing headphones is you get ear fatigue quicker, and oftentimes people make the mistake of listening to it too loud. Big mistake when mixing, whether you're doing it with your monitors or whether you're doing it with headphones. Uh, you don't really want to listen to it that loud. You want to you be able to have a conversation around it if you're mixing in your monitors. So you do the equivalent of that in your headphones. Now, this title was a little bit of a clickbait, but I feel strongly about this. I feel strongly about this, and I think it's important that you understand this. I strongly encourage you to look into these headphones. They give you a 30-day money-back guarantee, and no, I'm not doing some pitch for for Stephen Slate. You know, I'm not doing that, but when I find something that I think is value, I'm going to tell you about it. And these things are really, really worth it, especially if you're in an apartment, you're in a space where you really, it's not effective for you to mix, you're in, you know, difficult situations, uh, you travel a lot, uh, so many different vari variations that could come into play where these things are really going to be very valuable to you. And I've found them to be high quality in the audio tone. The only negative nitpick I might do is I wish they felt they felt sturdier, uh, you know, like my other studio headphones. But okay, so one of the things that I said in my review was this. So most of you are asking the question that I asked myself before getting these: Is this just smoke and mirrors? So going into this, I think we all understand that Stephen Slate is a master marketer. He actually is very good at it, and he's good at developing products that will continue to generate revenue beyond the initial sell. So when you get the headphones, I think most of you can go out and watch various videos on the various rooms and stuff like that, but you get a core of, of rooms slash typical spaces, whether it's emulating a couple of different very popular headphones that many of us use, including one, one of the ones they emulate or a set of headphones I've been using here for probably 12, 13 years, and, and they've held up all that time and worked great. So again, you can purchase these additional rooms if you choose to do that. Now, my thing with that is that could be a rabbit hole. If you've got a good room, why do you need to go in all these other different spaces? It's kind of like eye candy at the end of the day. Okay, so this is going to start sounding like an infomercial if it hasn't already. Uh, Slate Audio hasn't paid me anything. Uh, they've not even asked that I do this. They have no idea that I'm making this video. I'm doing it on my own. And when I find a product that I'm able to use here in my studio and I feel it's of excellent value for a lot of my viewers, I'm going to tell you about it. So since I did that video, I've had a chance to uh, experiment with all of the various studios and headphones and environments that they offer via expansion. You know, you can buy the core headphones for like $299, or you can buy the Platinum Edition. I think it's like $499. And when you buy the Platinum, that basically gives you all of their expansions, plus any that they add on at a later date. And you won't ever have to pay for any expansions beyond that anymore. Now, with the expansions, you kind of can get into this whole plug-in kind of dynamic uh, relationship to where, you know, you keep adding this one, adding this one, adding that one. Do you really need that much variety? And so there, there's pros and cons to that, both in plugins for sure, and even in this. But one of the things I find helpful about the different rooms is I can start to listen for different characteristics between each room. Once you spend enough time with it, you'll start to learn where certain things sit. And the goal is not to find a room that makes your mix sound good. You're, the goal is to find a mix that sounds good in all the various rooms uh, with just some minor differences in there. You know, if all studios were exactly the same, we'd all get the same results. That's why we have different designs, different speakers, different ways of, of building these things out to achieve different types of results and, and for, for a variety of type music, depending on what you're trying to do. So these expansions, I think they're well worth the extra $200 that you're going to pay 
on top of it to go from the base set, which just comes with a core set of rooms and some core items. Uh, and then you really get everything when you buy the platinum version, which is the you know $499 one. And so if you're going to buy these headphones, I'm going to suggest you don't buy them unless you just go straight for the platinum. Uh, if money's tight, then save up a little bit more money and go to that because these things truly can, for so many people out there, replace the need for headphones and room treatment and everything else like that out there. The danger to headphones, okay, is you're going to tend to listen too loud and it ultimately hurts your ears. Be very careful with that, all right? In mixing, whether I'm mixing with my studio monitors or whether I'm mixing with those headphones, you know, in a studio monitor situation, you really want to keep it where you can have a conversation with somebody in that room while you're mixing. I know a lot of us love to listen to the music, crank it up to 10, and that's fun to do. I certainly do that in my car all the time. But that said, for mixing, you don't really want to do that. Same thing with the headphones. Don't push it too far uh, unless you're just going for, a, you know, an enjoyable listening environment. But always take care of these. In your studio, in your audio world, these are you're a very important tool and you don't want to mess them up, okay? So that's that, that, that little disclaimer is out of the way. Take it for what it is. Take it or leave it. Buy it if you want it. Don't if you don't. But at the end of the day, it's got a recommendation from this guy. Okay, infomercial, infomercial crap all over and done with. If you like the things I talk about on this channel, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow. Leave some comments down below. Tell me what you think. If you happen to buy the core and then added, you know, the other expansions on top of that, tell us what you like about them. Do you feel like you got your money's worth? And speaking of money's worth, when you buy these things, they give you a 30-day money-back guarantee. Oh, God, I'm back on the freaking infomercial again. Okay, anyway, okay, go away. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Bye.